Welcome to the HR Empowerment Podcast, where we will uncover strategies and new insights from HR professionals who discuss up-to-date regulations, best practices, and the most pressing topics like diversity and equity, leadership, dealing with difficult situations, and much more that affect your bottom line and business. Thanks for joining us. Hey, everybody, Wendy Sellers here at The HR Lady. Thanks for coming back to our podcast. Today, we have an amazing guest who is going to be helping us through unleashing victory through precision coaching. Welcome, Dr. Lucille Maddalena. Oh, thank you. I'm glad to be here. Appreciate this. Thank you. Thank you. And we have here, of course, my fabulous co-host, JC. Hi, JC. Wendy, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for allowing me on our show. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Thank you for allowing me back on our show. <laughs> oh, the energy, yeah. It's hey, good. We're, we're so excited to have you here as an expert. You're uh, Dr. Lucille, you're the author of an inspiring book that blends sled dog stories, leadership case studies, and expert insights. Like, wow, mind blown. Tell us a little bit about your journey and how you got here. And then, of course, you could slip in the sled dog information at (laughs) any time throughout any of this Uh, podcast series. I can't not talk about sled dogs. You know, they made the whole event of dealing with sled dogs and being on a sled and getting involved really changed my life. It really did because I was an academic. (laughs) I'm a country girl though. And I married a city boy who wanted a dog. He went out and bought one dog, but one dog with two people, we didn't both walk on dogs. So we needed a second dog. So I sent him out for a second dog. He came back with two. So then we had three dogs. So when you try to work, walk with three big dogs, it doesn't work. So we were living up in a very cold area and some of our neighbors had sleds for their dogs. What better way to exercise your dogs, but let them pull you. You're on the sled and you're, you're pumping, you're working, but they get all the exercise they want. And it's a lot of training. Uh, we found some really good mentoring to teach us how to do it properly. And we had just had a blast doing it. And like I said, it changed our lives because of the people we met and the things that happened. I'll be glad to tell you those stories when when, uh, when we get to that part of the show. Yeah, absolutely. Isn't it amazing that when you step out of your comfort zone, or maybe it is your comfort zone, and you just start talking to people because of one little thing, and in this case, one big thing that you have in common, and you find out like, wow, I would have never talked to that person otherwise, and ta-da, relationships are formed. Absolutely. And you know, one of the reasons why, uh, there are two major reasons, but one of the motivating factors is I was working with this fantastic woman who was a project manager, and I knew, because I coached her boss and and her boss's boss, that they wanted to move her up. So um, we told they told her that she had this opportunity to move up, and she wouldn't take the job because she said, I have to do the job first and prove that I can do it before I'll take the job. She was scared. There was lack of confidence. Yeah. Maybe think about, you know, all the times on the sled when I did not have the confidence to do what I did and you do it and you take that risk. So it's all about risk. And that sort of motivated me to put this down on paper because once she did take the risk after the coaching, she's now a vice president. She nice. had the ability, but she didn't have the confidence. I love it. So it sounds like, you know, I know you're an author and you wrote your book and it sounds like, you know, you took a risk and then you got even more confidence and now you were able to help people. So congratulations. We, we share, right? When you get a gift, you share that gift. Uh, tell, it, it, tell us a little bit about your book. It's called Moving On By. Yeah. On By is a sled dog command for to tell the lead dog, get off this nice hard pack trail, get on that little dangerous stuff and pass that team in front of us. Lead my team around and get back on the trail and there's a reason i chose that particular title can i tell you a little story absolutely (laughs) all right i'm going to tell you about my very first venture my very first sled dog race with a really fine team that i was bar that i was i was loaned my my friend was pregnant she gave me her team this is a very fine trained team of alaskan huskies they they knew what they were doing i was used to working with my pets and now I'm on a fast team and we're out there on the trail and it's a three minute start. All the dogs take off in three minutes starts. So the, the team behind me or in front of me is three minutes before me. Well, I'm novice first, first time on this. 
I didn't wear my goggles, so when I went into an area where there were a lot of trees, it was dark. And you know when you go from uh, the dark area to that mm-hmm. bright snow, that sun, that sun bouncing off stone, you can't see a thing? Well, that's what happened to me. I couldn't see what was going on. But I did see the dog's tails go straight up with that turn at the end. I saw their ears perk forward. I saw their back slightly come up, which means excitement. So something was happening, and I didn't know what it was because I couldn't see anything. So I'm on the back of the sled, and of course, when you're on the sled, there's two runners in the back one foot stays on one runner and the other foot pumps the whole time so that you keep the weight of the sled off the dog so they have their their head so i'm pumping away and and seeing the dogs are excited and we're moving along this trail beautifully and i see finally ahead of me there's a slight hill and there's another driver i had caught up to three minutes that quickly race yeah i had a great team and we were working hard so the team's excited and moving up, and I, I can feel their excitement. I mean, I'm getting real excited, so I'm, I'm r- pumping and pumping, and we're getting closer. Now, my job <clears throat> at this point is to shout on by, telling my lead dog, it's time now, get off this trail, pass that team, get us up there. Well, we got closer, and I see the driver up front, big guy. Um, I didn't know him, but I, I recognized him from around, and I call out, may i pass you i asked him for permission to beat him <laughs> now, talk about being in the wrong mindset you know i must have slipped back earlier you know uh, in the week i'd been of course in a corporate office and walking along the hall and you say may i pass excuse me may i get by here i am asking for permission well my lead dog little guy, little girl she turned her head mid stride <laughs> the flashiest moment. So we had eye contact on the trail while we're all working. And I realized what an idiot I am. Um, so I shouted on by. She beautifully led the team around. We went into the deep snow, got back on that trail, and we did fantastic. But That's you know, amazing. It was amazing. Just her eye contact. She told me what to do because as soon as she said it, she dropped her haunches, reached out her legs, and took that team. Um I didn't even have to be there, but I did, and, I did. <laughs> <laughs> and we did go. We wanted to go, but you know, it, it teaches us a lot because sometimes you're working with a team, you're working on a project, you're working on a group, and your mind's someplace else, and you're not really connected with everybody on that team. And that, you know, when I work with leaders and when I work with teams, part of what we want to do is is to connect to really trust each other, to know that we're both committed to making this work. And I think that's a really important message that we have to get out there as a leader, even as a team member. Whether you're the leader, whether you're the doer, whether you're the follower, you're still on that team and you're contributing to that team. And that, that's what's important to recognize your role. I appreciate it. I love it. I absolutely love it. Thank you so much. Hey, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to episode one of our five-part series with Dr. Lucille Madalena, an executive coach. Thanks for joining us. And up next is our episode two. Thank you for joining the HR Empowerment Podcast brought to you by Aurora Training Advantage. We hope you've gained new insight and strategies to navigate the HR profession. We look forward to you joining us again on the HR Empowerment Podcast.